It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Tuesday, the 16th of July. I'm Michael Groff. A continued warming trend through the rest of the week and heading toward the weekend. And relatively dry conditions will be in place for us today. But rain chances will also be picking up as we head later into the week. And by this weekend, we should have a pretty decent chance of seeing showers and thunderstorms here in the lower deserts. Better chances, of course, will be in place over the higher terrain. Where, when, how much rain will there be? How hot will it get? We'll talk about all of it as we dive on in. First, here's that almanac from yesterday. 109 degrees the afternoon high, yet another day above average. 86 the morning low, 107 and 85 are the averages for this time of year. And as we take a look outside right now here, just before 11 o'clock, mostly sunny sky, 99 degrees at Sky Harbor. Dew point up there a bit at 61. It's sticky out. Relative humidity, 29%. A light wind. The barometer is falling. The upper level weather pattern across the nation right now. We've got some active weather in place across parts of the nation's midsection heading toward the northeast with a trough that's moving across the east, the Great Lakes, and into the northeast. Here in the southwest, high pressure is in control center just to the east of us, and normally that's a pretty good setup for bringing in monsoon moisture, but there's just not a ton of moisture through the atmosphere today. Nevertheless, widely scattered afternoon and evening showers and storms will be with us once again today. A few of those will get into the lower deserts, but with more of a southerly flow today, I would say that the probability of those making it in here are relatively low. Convective outlook for today. Again, we have a severe thunderstorm watch for parts of Pennsylvania and western New York. Got some issues with some flood watches over parts of Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio. Heat advisories elsewhere over the nation's midsection and for the east coast. Be another toasty day. Now out here in the southwest, at least for Arizona, not much to worry about right now. But let's look at the convective outlook for the state today. We do have the marginal risk for severe storms over southeast Arizona. Again, that extends from parts of Gila County southward toward the Tucson area, Nogales, Douglas, Bisbee, Sierra Vista, Fort Huachuca in there, Casa Grande. And the main threat from storms, once again, will be strong, gusty, straight line winds. And again, for a storm to be severe, it re we require winds 58 miles per hour in speed by gust or sustained wind or one inch diameter hail. And we really do anticipate some gusty winds, some strong winds with the strongest storms today and even a possibility of a microburst or two. Now, that's just to the southeast of the valley. It's not to say we couldn't get a severe storm in here or any storms in here today. It's just the risk is pretty small. All right, precipitation outlook. This is valid through Tuesday morning of next week. And despite the increasing chances of rain here in south central Arizona, the WPC guys keep rain amounts generally under one quarter of an inch. In fact, closer to one tenth of an inch for us. But look at uh, across northern and eastern Arizona, the southern border of our state, one to two, even two and a half inch amounts are present there. And that does suggest that some decent chances of rain over the higher terrain will be with us this weekend as a rather active monsoon pattern could develop by then. We'll talk about that in more detail as we get to the models right now. Take a look. This is the GFS. It's the 12Z run valid at 5 o'clock this afternoon. Trough moving across eastern Canada, the eastern part of the country, the northeast, the Great Lakes. For us, high pressure is in control. What it means for us down at the surface for the rest of the day today, mostly sunny and hot. Highs 107 to 111. Widely scattered showers and storms fire up over east, central, and southeast Arizona. They'll move generally north, northwest. But I think for the most part, they'll stay away from us. Again, an isolated storm is possible. We don't have any mention of it in our forecast. But it's not to say that we couldn't see some gusty winds and blowing dust around here and maybe a stray storm sneaking in. It's just the chance is not great because conditions are just not all that favorable for it. At least that's how it looks right now. For tonight, mostly clear in the evening, partly cloudy overnight, an isolated storm someplace. But for the most part, uh, we should stay rain free with overnight lows, mostly low 80s to low 90s. Tomorrow, mostly sunny again, hot 108 to 112 for the afternoon high. Now, tomorrow night, there is a slight chance we could see a shower or storm coming in here. Conditions are a little bit more favorable for storms coming off the mountains into the lower deserts as the ridge begins to shift a little bit to the north and west. But even at that, 
I still think the main focus for storms will be over the higher terrain of the rim country, east, central, and southeast Arizona. As we go to Thursday, we'll tack on another degree or two to the afternoon highs, 109 to 113. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy. Scattered showers and thunderstorms over the higher terrain. Widely scattered storms in the lower deserts, including Phoenix. Friday, storm chances increasing over the higher terrain, and a few more storms may make it into the lower deserts, especially by the afternoon and evening hours. High temperatures will still be very hot, though. This ridge is strong, and it's sitting at this point just to the north of us. The flow aloft is out of the east, so any storms that develop will be pushed toward the lower deserts. But, again, I would not say the chance is substantial here, probably in about the 25 to 30 percent range. Now, going into the weekend, storm chances should start to increase. Uh, the ridge is now going to take, uh, it's, uh, it's going to move more towards southern Nevada, very slowly meandering there. And as a result, the flow aloft will turn more out of the northeast. And so storms on the rim will be pushed southwestward toward the lower deserts. Could see some colliding outflow boundaries and the rain chances are going to pick up here. But this is a strong ridge. Upper heights probably close to 597 decameters. And in that configuration, we will be hot. The, the strength of the ridge will mitigate the storm chances here, especially in the lower deserts, a little bit. But with the favorable northeast steering flow, that should at least get some outflow boundaries coming in here, some blowing dust, the possibility of a few storms developing on those outflow boundaries. And if we could get some colliding boundaries from southeast Arizona as well, that may fuel additional storm development. Uh, still, Saturday is going to be probably the hottest day of the forecast period with highs 110 to 115. Rain chances up across northern Arizona, generally in the 50 to 60 percent bracket. So if you're heading up there this weekend, keep that in mind. Shower and storm activity will be present. Maybe more storms likely on Sunday as low pressure. We could see a, a weak little upper low breaking away from a trough that's diving south across the nation's midsection. And if that happens, even better chances of storms. So we're going to bump the rain chances up ever so slightly on Sunday. Uh, partly sunny, high temperatures drop off a couple of degrees with increased humidity. But still, this is a strong ridge, so highs I would say anywhere from 108 to 113, and we might subtract another degree or two from afternoon highs on Monday. More clouds in here, and actually Monday is a little bit of a wild card. I, I do think there may even be more clouds than what we're thinking right now. We're going to say kind of a, a mix of sun and clouds or 50-50 sun and clouds or what they call considerable clouds in the official weather service documents. But anyway, 50-50 uh, chance or uh, 50-50 cloud cover and sun here. And uh, storm chance is probably about the 40 to 50% bracket as well here for Monday. And high temperatures down considerably uh, further with highs 104 to 110 here. I I think we may even have to bump those, uh, those temperatures down further with more clouds around and higher humidity levels. This may actually be our best chance for precipitation either Sunday or Monday. Whichever day does turn out to be more active, uh, the next day would generally tend to be less so. All right, here's a week from today. This is Tuesday, the 23rd. Interesting setup here. We've got this ridge continuing to drift to the west, but it's more of an elongated ridge, so the flow aloft remains east or northeasterly, and so moisture levels may start to come down slightly, but it's still a favorable flow for bringing storms off the mountains into the lower desert, so we'll continue with storm chances in here. High temperatures probably come down another couple of degrees, still in about the 103 to 108 range, if that verifies. Going out 10 days, this is Thursday, the 25th. And kind of interesting here, the ridge is drifting back a little further to the east, sitting more or less on top of us, or maybe just to our north and west. And so still a northeasterly flow in place. And... Uh, I would suspect at least widely scattered late afternoon and evening storms would be with us in that setup and high temperatures uh, remain at or a little bit above average. Look at a rainfall for Phoenix off the GFS ensemble. This goes out through the 20 or the 30th of the month. And again, you know, the GFS continues with these uh, means up about a half inch to two thirds of an inch here with every member showing precipitation, the European ensemble Less bullish, but these numbers have 
continue to remain consistent, right? So the GFS has been wetter. The, the European has been drier. This is how it's been the entire season so far. And the, uh, the mean here is only about, uh, well, about 15 hundredths of an inch. So kind of pick your, pick your models here, pick your ensemble guidance and go with it. I will say uh, the, well, actually recently the GFS seems to be a little bit better. The wetter solution seems to be winning out at least the last few days, but uh, we'll see how it plays out over the next uh, couple of weeks. Temperatures off the national blend of models. There's no way to, to sugarcoat this. It's hot, okay? Above average, maybe approaching records if we take the GF or the um, NBM here, the National Blend of Models at face value. But I will say with higher humidity levels expected this weekend, even though the presence of very strong ridging will be around, it is possible the temps might be down a couple of degrees lower than what's shown here. It really is going to depend on cloud cover, humidity levels, and ultimately how thunderstorms progress from one day to the next and debris clouds hanging around and dew points and all this, I, I think these temperatures could be overdone, especially as we get towards Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. But at this point, it's still going to be miserable, even though even if temperatures are lower than what's shown here, humidity levels will be higher. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video is due back here tomorrow morning. Should you happen to enjoy these videos? And of course you do. Then be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell. Leave those comments, questions, and suggestions. And if you really like what we do here, then click that thanks icon below the video here on YouTube. Make those monetary contributions. Or you can donate directly to me via PayPal. Show at gmail.com is that address on PayPal. G-R-O-F-F show at gmail.com. The executive producer of the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion is my one and only, the sweetest of all time, the Asian sensation and proprietor of sweetchildaz.com.org and that Facebook page of the same name, Sweet Child Arizona, talking about my Michelle. Check her out. Check out her blogs. Check out our videos. Everything Michelle related linked up down in the description, as is our streaming station. It is available 24-7, 365 for your listening pleasure. It's called KMGX. What do we do there? We play a ton of music. We have a lot of fun with that. So I highly encourage you to give that a listen as well. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. All of your continued support. So greatly appreciated. Please be safe. Stay cool. Stay hydrated out there. And have yourselves a delightful rest of your Tuesday.